Yeah. All right, welcome back to the program. Now it is uh, the belief that uh, a majority of uh, college graduates are finding it a little bit difficult to land a job, and as such, many are turning to entrepreneurship as well as earning an income online. But what's the reality, really? What are the pros and cons? Is this where we are heading, and how can persons actually get started? Do we have joining us this morning Alicia Little from Internet Income Jamaica to provide us with some answers on how to earn an income from working online. Alicia, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. morning. It's, 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 morning. it's, it's, it's not doing? the first time that we're seeing you, but we are very happy to have you again Thank here. you. First of all, uh, just remind us what exactly is uh, internet, um, the uh, internet doing. online. Yes. Right. So Internet Income Jamaica is yes. our company here in Kingston where we teach people how to work online. They bring laptops to our training center and we teach them how to work online and earn a good income working online. So we teach them everything that they need to know in a hands-on environment where um, located in the League War Business Center on 31 Upper Waterloo Road. So, so you actually have a structure, an office where we people do. come in and then yeah. you take them through the That's basics correct. and stuff. Mm. That's correct. What, in what areas do they, do they, can they sure. branch out to, to earn right. from? We, we really focus on freelancing, so focusing on your talents and your skills and your strengths and turning that into income online. So we have a lot of teachers who've come through and they're doing proofreading and editing and writing online. We have a lot of college students that come through and they'll take whatever their personality is. We have students who are dancing online for money, singing. You know, it's whatever your skills and talents are, we teach you how to turn that into cash. It's turning your skills and your knowledge into profits. Who determines the talent of the individual? Is it something that you come in and, and you want to um, basically embellish? You say that I think that I'm a good dancer, I think right. that I'm a good singer, and so on. Um, because there are times when people pr probably get carried away. Right. So uh, the, what is the determining factor? Who determines that you know this is where your um, talent really lies? Right. Well, actually, they determine it. If yeah. you know that you have a skill somewhere, you take that skill and you push it to to make money online with it. But a lot of people that come through our trainings, honestly, they don't think they have any skills that they can make money online. So we do a skills assessment and we show them examples of other people that were in their similar situation or you know in, in a different situation, but they're making money online. So there's a so skills assessment process. There. Okay, Correct. I see what you mean. All right, after I come in with my whatever my skill sets are, how do I know whether the market who are watching or following online how long do I know whether or not I can make an income from this based on what the market is on the other side? Right. So the market is huge. We're going global. So you're putting your skills out there to the global economy. You'll have clients from Australia, Malaysia, um, Russia, all over the world. And when you put those skills online, we teach you how to do it in a way that you will get found because there's so much out there, right? There's so mm -hmm. much online, the websites that are trusted, how to do it correctly. And you know, after you put your skills online, when you start getting orders and start making money, that it's something that's going to work. So the average person will put up six to to 10 things that they can offer online and see which one gets picked up, oh, which of okay. those 10 things people really like and they get repeat customers with. Okay. It's funny you mentioned that because is uh, we often hear of these rather horror stories, if you will, and people being duped of their cash and being, you know, um, duped of um, whatever it is that they might expend on these, um, um, on these dreams. Right. Uh, is there a guarantee from your position that um, they will not, you know, suffer this, 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 um, you know, dreaded occurrences. Right. Well, here's what people need to know. There are trusted sites online that they need to use. So y you're right. There's so many emails that you get that are like, make money in your <laughs> underwear, mm. don't have to do anything. And people are worried that those are scams. And true enough, because a lot of them are scams. But what I tell people is you're just working in exchange for money. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So we teach people you're doing proofreading for a client in exchange for money. You know, you're creating a song, doing songwriting in exchange for money. So you're working in exchange for money. You're writing a budget for a client. So, you know, there's there's trusted sites out there. They have a long history. And those are the sites that people need to focus on and understand that they need to run their business as a, you know, when you're working online, run it as a business. Treat your clients as you would any client and 
the, the sky is the limit for it. But, you know, a lot of people, especially in Jamaica, are skeptical. They think, oh, this is a scam. I'm not really going to make any money online. But luckily, we've had a lot of people put their trust in us. Word of mouth has gotten around. So we're trying to teach as many people as possible to, um, to make some change. About how many successful people would you say would have passed through your doors who who have or are making money from right. working online. Right. Well, this is our fourth year. We've had, had hundreds of people pass through, well over a thousand people pass through, and hundreds of them are making money online. The mm. key is they have to really want it, and if they want it and they're willing to follow through on the steps, they will make money online. Mm. So it's, it's a system. It's not, you know, we're teaching freelancing online. It's nothing new. It's been around. We're just teaching how to do it right. And then we have lifetime support. So we support you each and every day answering questions and encouraging you. That's, that's also helped us to become really successful. And it's fair to say that this is the direction in which the world is going to because te technology has reached a point um, where um, there's no way at all that any business can subsist um, without incorporating you know, um, this kind of uh, technology. So it is fair to say that this is where it is going. And you would encourage um, most of these youngsters to focus in this direction. Absolutely. This is where the world is going. And mm. companies are trying to get an edge over their competition. So they're looking online for creative talent. A lot of our students, um, they're hired by companies in Australia. And so Australians are hiring Jamaicans, getting you know creative things that they wouldn't be able to get in their local market. So technology has allowed us to really go global. And we need to take advantage of those opportunities. Youngsters yeah. and unemployed Employed, anyone who wants to make extra income, the the opportunities online are there. There, yes. All right, Alicia Little, thanks much for um, joining us this morning and giving Thank us you. all the information. Thank you. All right, thanks and all the best with that.